Uh, let's see. Good morning. Uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is Sunday, the 16th of February, 2020. And I am still using Ubuntu Studio. That's a version of Linux. It's working okay for me, except I have had. I hope the audio is okay. Oh. When you install Ubuntu Studio or uh, some of the others that are like, what is it? The other one that I paid $40 for at the same time. Uh, you have the option of loading these ex extra packages. Uh, if you are into, you know, really into working with photographs or if you're into audio or if you're into uh, all these different packages. I wish I had not loaded in all of the audio stuff because I have so many selections and it wants to change things. I go in and click on something and then, you know. So I think right now I have the audio correct. And I believe I'm using this microphone. Uh, but the problem is there's... Um, I have... Uh, the Logitech C920 camera going. Over here I have the Brio camera going. Could be the microphone on either one of those. I did have the... Uh, Sound Blaster Tower or whatever, old the old thing, did have it hooked up, so I had all of its options. And a lot of that information, to me at least, that they give is sort of uh, uh, confusing. Um, so I have the one monitor going, but not in 4K mode. I'm just in 1080p. It makes it easier for me. 4K would be okay, and, and you have with uh, Ubuntu all of the controls that you want to go into, more so, I think, than with Windows, uh, for changing everything, you know, with the uh, logos, fonts, everything, and... Windows people may say, no, you can do everything with Windows. Maybe you can. Uh, I messed with that for years. <laughs> but uh, as you can see here, I use a thing called Start. I think it's Start Page or whatever. to uh, So I can get to... I'm signed up for uh, CBS TV Live or whatever they call that. Watching Picard... Star Trek Picard, it's okay. And I was such a big, well, we all were, I think, such a big fan of Star Trek. And <clears throat> I think I'd just been around too long. And uh, I just have trouble finding even things that I like with, you know, we're signed up for Netflix and Amazon Prime, Hulu. Yeah, is there anything else? I don't know. Pluto TV, uh, should be great, and it's free, but like, and I love the, uh, UK, uh, their roadshow, which was the original, but it appears to me, you know, it's going on this, uh, Pluto TV, you know, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. But it appears that I keep going over and they and their uh, repeats. And it seems like they've been around for so long. You know, they were before uh, the U.S. Antiques Roadshow. Where they copy, you know, we copied them. But it seems like I'm going over and seeing 
seem like they should start at the beginning and just go through to the end and maybe they're only allowed to get so many uh, so anyway here's all the channels or you know I mean they just create things I mean a great idea and probably well I don't know if it's successful or not because They run. It's, they appear to me to run the same commercials. Uh, the same type of commercials, a uh, generic or uh, an over-the-counter uh, erection enhancer or something or other, which you know I doubt works, unless it works on your brain, you know, to make you think that you're gonna. Four K TV Secrets of Wild Australia. Okay, let's see. My sound isn't going. Okay, let's see if it's going here. Okay, where I might have. Okay, I have to turn it on. And I think go up with it. Yeah, I mean, this ad, they run all of the time. Makes me wonder. This is Kate. They got multiple channels. I never listened to it. Multiple channels of music and everything. So... Since I gave up Windows, I gave up Office 365, uh, which was only like eight or nine dollars a month. So I'm saving eight or nine dollars there. By the way, uh, as you've been told before by me many times, I was streaming a video and making videos and everything before there. YouTube existed. Uh, so I signed up with, you know, every time some new, I signed up with them and streamed a video through them or what was it? See you, see me, and I have everyone. And so I was, you know, one of the first people, along with other, you know, a lot of other people, uh, using YouTube. And uh, let's see here. Go here to YouTube. And uh, as I've said before, I don't understand why people aren't using, at least they're not using, why they're not using YouTube community. Uh, seems like it would be, you know, a great, I've been posting to it. And I see a couple thumbs up, but I, I don't know. I guess it's just, I guess it's just not kittens and uh, car chases. And I've been watching a lot of car chases again. Man, it pisses me off watching them. I get mad at them. <laughs> I'm sitting here, you know, drinking a Coke and snacking on something. And I get pissed, you know, at the drivers. And why don't the police do this? Why don't they... Especially with electric cars coming, one of these days, uh, police cruisers are just going to have some thing in there that will send out a, a, a pulse, you know, beam, or not a, one to be a, just boom, one pulse, shut the end, you know, shut the car down, electrical system, just shut it down, and uh, that's going to be be great to put an end to, you know, that not have these cars, because I also hate the local TV stations or whatever, they, the, oh, I don't want to call up people names, but they repeat over and over, and two, they have, the, you know, their, their banner, across, I don't, one, lower one, th whatever the 
TV networks call this thing. They have to stick it on there. I mean, okay, have it on there, yeah. I have occasionally read a little banner for a few seconds you know, on the bottom of my uh, my video or something, but turn it off. You, can, you know, they have Channel 5, and then they talk about, you know, whatever the, you know, our, our uh, Chopper 5 is this, our Chopper 5, we bring you, you know, uh, Oh, what I wanted to show you, let's see, go to, uh, okay, go to here, go to, well, I'm already there. Oh, okay, go to, no, go to here, um, oh, wow. Dancing girls with short, short dresses on and skirts that are flying up. Uh, okay. Oh, YouTube Studio. Okay, here we go. Okay, uh, number one. Uh, look at the amount of revenue that, you know, it's down to, you know, it creeped up to almost $30 a month. Now it's down to about $16 a month. It's gone down. I have been trying for a long time to get to 3,000 subscribers. And it used to be that I would, until just this last month or maybe two, I think it's just this last month. All of a sudden, it used to be I would get about oh, 28, add about 28 subscribers a month. About one a day. And now it's been down to like four during the last 28 days. Uh, my the views have gone down. Watch time has gone down. Revenue, of course, has gone down. Uh... I enjoy making, you know, I'm not doing it for the money, but the money's kind of, it'd be nice if it was, if it paid. Uh, for me, you know, if it paid like even $50 a month, that would, that wouldn't pay for the cameras that I, uh, you know, purchase and all this type of stuff. But it would, uh, but when it's going down, Makes me think I should just stop, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't just stop. I would just only do, you know, which I'm thinking about. Just do a YouTube video when I really have something to talk about or show or you know something. Instead of feeling like, oh, I haven't made a YouTube video today, or I haven't made one in the last two or three days. Actually, going to have an emergency coming up here. Ah. Uh, after this can of Coke, there's only one left. And what am I going to do? Anyway, my uh, YouTube stats do not look good. Now, sure, there's a lot of YouTubers that start out. They'd be happy to have 2,800 subscribers. Uh, well, if you look at my, though, the videos. Okay. Uh, I'm going to expand this here. Okay, this uh, video here, which the one I just made and uploaded yesterday, has got 28 views and two comments. And uh, the one I made on the 10th has received 59 views and four comments. The one I made on the 7th has received 62. You know, I'm not even making 100 now. I mean, you know, not even 
not even having a hundred views now. Now sure here's one where I went crazy and I got 262 views. Uh, but that's, I don't want to go crazy. I have to, you know, I'm not, I mean, I know what, uh, if you're a YouTuber, you know, make a person making YouTubes, you know what can get, you know, pretty young girls, cats, guns, uh, you know what can get, you know, but I, I've been doing this since 1982, and I've just been me, whatever I've been interested in, whatever, you know, uh, I don't want to be something that I'm not. I don't want to uh, fill a bathtub with milk and put uh, Cheerios in it and then get in naked or whatever. Um, now that one guy uh, that had, has the, I don't know if he's still going or not, then he got a bunch of people copying him. That's the problem. But he has a hydraulic press and he smashes things, you know, puts different things in there and just smashes them. That's, you know, but then everybody copies him. Uh, these people that Chuck and Julie show are, are on the internet, you know, the World Wide Web now. And they probably were before, but I mean, they've lost their... Uh, but that got 449. Here's 508. Oh, about the new version of about a new version of Windows. You know, just when I have, I didn't watch the. Uh, I could watch it on Windows Weekly. That, you know, Twitch show. Uh, a new version of Windows is coming, and I think it's going to be sort of like uh, Chrome. A, there. I think I believe that Microsoft is taking, you know, Windows and coming out, what is it, Windows X, Windows, or whatever. And it's going to be, they're taking, you know, because Windows has been using this code and they keep adding to it, you know, over the years. And there's people who started writing the code. Uh, <laughs> they've, they've retired or they've passed away and that code is still there. They just, the new guys and people probably don't understand. You know, why did they do this? You know, but it doesn't matter. I'll just put in this. So Windows is, which I think is a great idea. Okay, we're coming out with something slim. And, uh, you know, that's going to work on these new chips that came from uh, cell phones and, and what have you. And it's, I, th I haven't followed it exactly, but it sounds to me like a great idea. I, ho I hope it, I don't want to go back to Windows. I'm sure not going back to Windows 10. Uh, I've got a Chrome box <clears throat> that I'm brand new that I'm not even using. I took it out the other day and ran it for a few hours. And it's not as versatile as, you know, Ubuntu or the other versions of, you know, Linux. But uh, anyway, I think I ran it on, as you can see, <laughs> in the past I've watched a bunch of these uh, super yacht videos. I've kind of given up on watching them now, but it was kind of like, you know, I mean, I can't afford a rowboat, can't afford an oar, but uh, I thought, you know, if I won a lottery, and I don't even buy lottery tickets, if I won a lottery, uh, this is the yacht I would like. No, not this one here, but okay, this one over here that has, you know, the helicopter landing pad or, or whatever. And the other thing before that I looked at, uh, and actually I would never, I don't care how rich I got, I would never own a yacht. That's just, you know, uh, just too expensive, even if you have, no matter what you have. Um, 
But I'd looked in the beginning, I was looking at islands, you know. And I saw some really neat islands. And I would love that, but not now with my medical conditions. And I uh, have to be, now I'm looking at a, a lot down the street or something from a hospital, you know. Actually lived there, for, lived in a, uh, a uh, place, a house that uh, was right down at the bottom of a hill and right at the, you know, right at the top of the hill. It was a great location, small town, uh, Hillsboro in Texas, small town, and uh, we had a great view, cows across the highway, and uh, man, there was a great Mexican place that moved into what was a, might have been a filling station, or maybe it was some type of a, fa you know, but they made the most fantastic, I guess, Mexican breakfast. I just went there, and uh, they weren't too, I, you know, I had to just, you know, Mexican breakfast, and they brought me something. And I would go up there quite often and have the Mexican breakfast, and it was great, best I've ever had. Uh, but anyway, I looked at islands, and let's see, what's... Uh, Conrack, the movie Conrack, if you ever, about Malaco Island or whatever, what was that? Off the coast of South Carolina. And uh, this little island, I guess it's really not officially an island. Um, oh, let me minimize this because, or maybe I'm on top, I'm not sure with my... Uh, video. I can't remember if I'm covering it or on top. Um, oh, let me pull up this and do I'm not sure what just fell or whatever. That's kind of kind of strange. Anyway, um, this little island. I guess it's not, maybe not officially an island because it has a road that comes out from land. So maybe it's a peninsula, peninsula, I can't even say it. It had a road that would be your road. Now that, that would be where the, uh, some expense would come into. It's a, you know, a simple road, but it comes out not very far, but comes out to your island. And there's small town down, you know, you, uh, so, but, I don't know, living off the coast of South Carolina might not be as nice as living down in, I've, I've done that in the past too, <clears throat> watch some of these cameras that are at resorts, or whatever, <clears throat> and, um, uh, That's funny. I, I go through different uh, YouTube videos, like I said, car chases recently, which in the very beginning, you know, uh, I can't believe some of, you know, I can't believe the pit maneuvers that the police do uh, hitting cars and knocking them into, in, you know, incoming traffic and knocking them into uh, things. Well, I, I was in... Uh, I think on all the time in a small town reserve officer, I think I was in three or four car chases. Now, one was somebody that was doing, actually, I had just started, you know, and of course I was the only, for years, we, the reserves were all we had, and you were like, like one, you were out there by yourself for this small town. And I had just, uh, actually, I, the first night that I officially then was on my own, and I was the only one on duty, you know. Before that, I had to ride along with somebody. And then they said, okay. And I went out. And that night, right outside, you know, I got a call, a report of a vehicle on the J Highway or whatever. And I went out and actually came to the city limits. But I went to see, you know, over, went up the hill and came down. And there was two brothers, one dead and the other seriously injured or whatever. 
and uh, like I the reserves there was like there was seven of us and there's seven days in a week and I for years uh, you know ever I never missed a, a night I went in I was in the beginning for years and years you know I was the only one working until we started to get first a dispatcher then a midnight shift officer then I would stay over for him you know hours into his shift just so he had a backup although you know we came on it the reserves came on like it one of you came on every day and like it was uh you know they you didn't have to we all did our day but i mean you you didn't have to be there at 7 p.m you I mean you could come in at 4 p.m or you could come in at 9 you know but uh, and then you usually went off about midnight or one or something, but then I would stay over, and I don't know about the other guys too. Maybe they did, but I had off the next day that I we always patrolled our same night. And uh, but what was I going to say? Oh, anyway, after this fatality accident, so and see it would have happened on my my night because we did the same night. So a week later. I come out and I set up radar and uh, issued three tickets, which was unusual. Well, I just started, but uh, I just didn't give tickets. You know, for the rest of all those years, 10 or more years, if you just, you know, you really had to be an asshole to get a ticket from me. But anyway, so I issued three tickets. And then I, I, went, I went to the station to put the car away and whatever the dispatcher said. He was a volunteer too, by the way, one night a week. Or sometimes they did more than, you know, volunteer. But he said, do you know you gave, uh, two of those tickets you gave were to volunteer firefighters? I said, well, I know one was because they told me that he was, I said, the reason I stopped you is because of the fatality accident right over here, you know. And he says, yeah, I responded to that. And I said, well, then you should know. And, he, of course, he'd been, he was speeding. But I guess the other guy didn't say anything about being. But, And I'm not sure if the other the other guy was his mother, I think, was the um, postmaster, or I guess be postmistress or whatever the town. But anyway, I think it was like the next, or maybe it was that night, I was running radar very close. I was in still in our city limits, so, but just right down the hill from where this fatality accident happened, and that's when we had the radar gun, you know, that you had to hold or whatever, and the thing was like popped up on there. I couldn't see anything or hear anything. It popped up like 100, 101, and I actually, I actually shook it, you know, and then I saw the vehicle coming, and uh, so he went by me doing a hundred, and I went after him out of the city limits, you know. And then he turned down eventually a uh, unpaved road that was just dust, and I went a little bit, and that dust was just everywhere, and I couldn't see anything, so I stopped because I called off the pursuit, although nobody was coming to back me up, you know because uh, it was just too dangerous. I could have, if he'd have stopped, or I had some, if he'd have stopped, I'd have plowed into the back of him. Or if somebody else was on the road, I'd have plowed into them, so I stopped. So I was, I was in a, then I was in a chase one night. That's when I stayed over, you know, years later. Uh, With a, we then had a full-time officer, and he started chasing somebody, and I was right there ahead of them. And it was a car with two, I found out later, a car with uh, two guys in it, and uh, they had been breaking in. It was like 3 or 4 a.m. in the morning, and they'd been breaking into houses out in Cass County and stealing guns and stuff. And uh, that's kind of an interesting story because 
and I may have told it, so I'm not going to go into it now. But, uh, well, I will say, you know, I was heading towards the vehicle. I was trying to get to a road where I could, you know, try to get them to go down the road rather than hit the highway. And because uh, that's where they were heading, you know, for the, get on the highway. And uh, but I couldn't get them to turn down that road. So they just blasted past me. And uh, but uh, so that was the second car chase. Like I said, I only had three or four. And uh, but anyway, when I watch these, you know, uh, videos of police doing, I found out uh, about myself. I've handled situations, by, you know, by myself, working hospital security for 30 years or whatever, sometimes just working with one other officer or two other officers or whatever, but uh, I do great under stress for a little bit. I do not do great with stress that just goes on and on, and especially when I tell somebody, you know, the uh, house supervisor, the head nurse or somebody who's in charge, or, you know, or the director of security if it's during, I usually work nights and weekends to try to get away from administration. But I do not do, I had some meltdowns, you know, I handle, you know, like I had numerous times, 30, 40 people, you know, trying to get into the hospital or out there doing, you know, all kinds of stupidity and that kind of stuff. And I was handling in those situations by myself and I did okay. But if it went on for an hour or two or whatever, then I had some meltdowns <laughs> that I could have got fired for, you know, like telling the hospital administrator or whatever. To, well, well, I told hospital administrators that too, but, you know. So, so you learn your limitations. The only problem is, so, you know, I wanted to, uh, I mentioned this many times, uh, my idea when I was in high school was I went to a military high school and it was to uh, um, which mode am I? I need to bring the camera back up or the uh, OBS back up. Oh, okay. Um, my idea was to go into the military, work 20 years in the military and retire. And uh, had several people who have got to know me, friends and relatives even, and uh, they've said, "What, you know, what in the world made you think that you would be successful? You know, if you'd have got in the military, that you would have been, you know." And I, I was like, "You know, I didn't know that I was. Uh, <laughs> I didn't like somebody telling me to do something. You know, I started out life." Uh, as a welder for 10 or more years and then worked at the post office and then uh, my wife and I, we had a tropical fish shop for four years and all that kind of stuff. And I didn't know until I got into hospital security or whatever that I didn't like people telling me what to do and I didn't like people telling me, uh, uh, these people, let them do this. They're VIPs, very important people. They donate, and I was like, oh, my God, my head is going to explode. And I didn't know that about myself. And so I don't know. I think I would have done, you know, because the four years I went to high school, which we were in, you know, it was a uh, ROTC all the time. We were in uniform. We had military every day. Friday was half a day, we, and we were in that day. We were in dress uniforms, had our parade, uh, all that type of stuff. And I never got in four years. I never, and you got a demerit if you have a button unbuttoned, uh, if you had uh, shoes weren't shined, brass wasn't shined, 
all these things. I never got it, and I never got a demerit. Uh, so, I think if I went in the military, I think I just would have understood. But I don't know for sure. I might have been the only guy, the only U.S. military person who was ever executed during, you know, uh, basic training or whatever. <laughs> I sure would. I sure would not have gone into the. Uh, Marine Corps. Oh, God, I wouldn't have survived that. Uh, but, if I had, but I was going to go into the Army. In fact, it was set up, that I, which I didn't know that you could no, really negotiate with the uh, recruiter. So the, you know, the recruiter said, okay, we have openings for, we need uh, teletype repair people. And then, okay, sign me up, you know. This is before computers and... Uh, you know, that type of stuff. Anyway, uh, this is sort of a test, so thank you very much for watching. I'm about, my nose is about... <coughs> I'm going to sneeze. Uh, I have a tickly nose. Thank you very much for watching.